So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you a showcase of another amazing weapon post 1.04. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so a lot of people right now are talking about this weapon's older brother, the Merrier's Executioner's Sword. Reason being is the weapon's actual uh, attack skill, the weapon's weapon art, the dancing blade received a buff, meaning basically in the 1.04 patch, um, now you can actually dodge out of the weapon's attack skill, which makes it way more efficient, makes it way more beneficial in using. You ain't now a sitting target if you miss that target with that weapon art. But guys, people are forgetting about the Mary's Executioner Swords little brother. That's the weapon we are covering today. And it's equally as brutal, if not better, guys. Today, we do get into it all. So I'll do a galley out of... What does that even say, guys? Yo, Chade? We're going to call it... Uh, we're just going to call it the little brother. The little brother. This shares the same weapon skill. The Dancing Blade. But I do believe on this one, you actually attack quicker with it probably reduces damage slightly but either way guys it's received the same buff you can now dodge out of it it's basically its range has been extended and it is utterly brutal guys by the clips you would have seen now what i've done is i've basically built a build around both the um the execution sword and this uh, if you saw yesterday's video on the actual execution of sword you would have seen the builder based on it makes the weapon utterly brutal we are applying the same build the exact same build to this weapon now if there's any item here you want which you don't have already you'll find guides to each in the video description i don't want this video going on for half an hour me showcasing to you where every item has got i think most people now have all items needed but hey if there's anything you're missing like i said you'll find it linked down below so the regalia, where is this first thing firstly obtained from? So this weapon guys, is obtained from a cave down here. So you need to come to the jail cave right there. Come in here guys, beat the boss, progress past the boss, onto an opening, and on the edge of a cliff you'll find the weapon. Guide to it though, will be found down below. Then, well, the weapon itself, as you saw by the clips as well, is brutal. But what we'll say is mine isn't fully leveled up. Mine is only a level, not a plus 9. Plus 10, guys, it's going to do even more damage. This thing scales with strength, dexterity, and arcane. Arcane works this thing's magic. Attributes required, we've got 12 in strength, 18 in dexterity, and 15 in arcane. Cane. Another thing I will say, yes, I'm at level 380, but I respect and try to basically keep my stats balanced across the board to make it more realistic when I bring you guys videos on these. I could respec and make this seem 10 times more powerful. Specking into strength, dexterity, and arcane, I could easily max these out and make this weapon seem crazy powerful. But hey, like I said, Eclipse you saw are with the stats I have right now. So what am I using to buff this thing? Well, firstly, guys, I'm using the Commander's Standard. Now, I may have said in a previous video, this comes from Commander Niall upon Castle Soul. That's wrong. It's Commander O'Neill. I always get them two mixed up. It's unbelievable. But hey, I'm using this weapon, guys, to give me a damage buff. It only lasts 30 seconds or so, but it still, guys, gives you a great damage buff and you don't have to level it up either. That's one damage buff, buff I have. I do as well use a staff with the Terra Magica if I'm fighting against a boss or an enemy that's more or less going to be stationary. If I'm running around an arena chasing an enemy, this is going to be less efficient, but hey. I'm also using, guys, this Witch Glintstone's Crown because this scales Arcane and Intelligence up. Arcane helps this weapon's magic. As you can see there, it gives us a plus three to both Arcane and that Intelligence with detriment to that stamina. Other armor we have, don't worry about this. Go with what you want. Obviously, you want to keep your load at a medium max. You don't want anything more than that. Well, well, it's up to you. You go with what you want. Talismans, we're using the two we get from the Millicent's quest line. These, obviously, you won't be able to get through one run. Um, so you'll have to either have a friend drop it for you or new game plus. 
go for the other talisman. Hey guide link to down below to obtain both of these. One boosts dexterity and raises attack power with successive attacks. The other one greatly raises attack power with those successive attacks. We then have the Shard of Alexander. This comes from Alexander's questline. And we also have the Magic Scorpion Charm. Again guys, guides for each down below. We then guys have my Flask. Magic Shrouding Cracked here, temporary boost magic attacks. And the Thorny Cracked here. Temporary boost, successive attack, power. And with this weapon's actual art, weapon art, just spinning, doing multiple attacks at once, it just makes things utterly brutal, guys. And that's really what we have. That's really what I use. And here you guys saw for yourself just how powerful this weapon can be. Again, you can make it even more powerful. There's more buffs you can apply to this. The um, Oh, there's all kinds of things guys, there's things I ain't even included here, uh, there's items I don't even have yet, there's still things on my 500 hour playthrough, there's still things I don't have, but well, some aromatics will also help this as well guys, so use what you can to get maximum damage. But there we have it guys, guys check this weapon out, try it out, use it, let me know. Guys if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, it really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one.